Okay, so hello my lovelies. You're probably gonna see me in this look again because I did an African inspired color correcting videos. So I will leave that link in the description box below if you like this makeup look. But um, today I'm coming at you guys with a feather brow tutorial. You guys know I change my brow routine every other day, so it's always something new. But this one I like because it's more natural than some of my other brow looks. Because you know, sometimes I be having jet black brows and like, I don't care. So this one is more of a natural look for me. So if you like what these brows look like, hunty, stay tuned for the tutorial. Bye. So the pencil of choice for this video is going to be my Smashbox Brow Tech Pencil. I'm obsessed with it. It's in the color dark brown and I love it because it has a spoolie as well as a color. So I just brush my brows up and it's really important to do light strokes with this um, Brow Tech Pencil um, because the tip is very fine which I love because it gives you really sharp clean lines as you can see. But also it's very important that your eyebrows are done and trimmed for feather brows or it doesn't look as clean. So make sure if you're going to do a feather brow that your brows are nicely trimmed and nicely done. So now all I'm doing is just blending the color that I put with the brow tech and I'm using the spoolie to pretty much blend the colors out. I don't fill in most of my brow with this because I just used the whole purpose of the whole feather brow look. So basically all I'm doing is just combing my hair up as well as blending the color in. So you'll get something like this. Now right there I have sort of a gap so I'm just using the pencil just to create a little line just to even out the look of the brow as you can see. Now it's like a straight line versus that little bit that I had. And now is the fun part, and the most important part is the cleanup process. So I'm using my Black Opal Concealer in the color Honey. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I always use it for any brow tutorials that I have. And I like to concentrate most of the product towards the highest point of my brow, and whatever's left on the brush, I use towards the inner part. Now I fold this part down because this is really important for me, it's the tail part. I only use the concealer to basically clean up the ends to give a really sharp edge because I like my brows to come to a point. Um, as far as the concealer, I do not bring the concealer all the way to the inner corners of my eye. As you can see, I'm starting from the middle and anything I feel like I need to clean up, that's as far as I go. So now I just use my finger just to clean it up. It helps because your fingers are warm, so it helps blend the concealer a lot better. So now I just go in to finish. I brush my hairs up once again with the spoolie and fill in any gaps that don't look right. Like as you can see, I had a small gap right there, so I just lightly add a line to that. And then I just go back with my spoolie. It's all about using your spoolie for feather brows. Like, it's super important. Now I use my Ardell Wax just for the end of my brow, just because sometimes I have some random stray hairs. But that's the only place that I'll use my wax. Again, I'm just using my spoolie to clean up my brows, but guys, if you haven't noticed, my sister does have a new song, and that's what's playing in the background. So if you guys love this song, check out her Instagram at underscore not the music underscore, and I will leave her YouTube page, which she just created in the description box below. So I'm just cleaning up any concealer left over, and this is pretty much it. This is the final look. The perfect feather brow. It's super easy and anyone can do it. So if you love this video, don't forget it to give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. And like usual, I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome, marvelous day or night, whatever time it is. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.